The following warm-up exercises that we will be demonstrating are going to be higher intensity warm-up exercises and they are more appropriate for plyometric or faster paced sports like basketball, soccer, possibly track. The following exercise will be a repeat of uh, one that we conducted in the first warm-up, which is spinal rotations. So uh, you're just going to have your arms up by your side and then rotate to the left. And then come back to center and then continue to rotate to the right. Are you ready? All right, let's go. Let's go for uh, 10 to each side. Ready? Go. Stop at 10, 7, 8, 9, 10. So for this warm-up, you could do at least 10 more repetitions, and that would be enough. The following exercise would be uh, straight arm swings. So uh, the starting position will be one arm to uh, straight out, and the other one bent across your chest. And we will just progressively switch to opposite sides. You would do 20 repetitions for these, and then we're going to do 10. Ready? following exercise will be straight leg kicks where the athlete will keep their leg straight as they try to reach towards that opposite hand as they continuously kick all the way down. Ready? Go. Go. The following exercise that we will demonstrate are side lunges. Um, the athlete can switch halfway in order to get the same amount of reps on each side. Ready, Emmy? Go. Good. Make sure you sit back on that leg. Sit back, sit back, sit back. Good. And flip. Good. Okay, sit back. Good job keeping that back knee straight. Good job. Coming straight up. Good. The last one. Back and straight, sit back. Good job. Always remember to keep your chest straight. Always come up to that, to that foot. So great job. The following exercise that we will be demonstrating is a squat into a push-up position. This exercise is good for changing levels and getting athletes accustomed to being in a lower stance and switching back to a higher stance. So uh, the athlete will squat down and then place their hands on the ground crawl out into a push-up position, and then walk those feet up as they try to keep their knees straight to their hands, and then stand straight back up, and then repeat. Repeat nothing. All right. Ready, Evan? Go. Good squat. Good crawl. Small feet coming up. Keep those knees straight. Good, good, let your butt come up. Ah, don't drop it, don't drop it. Keep it up the whole time. Good, one more. Squat, good. Knee straight. Small feet, yup, keep that butt up, keep that butt up, keep that butt up, keep that butt up. Don't drop, don't drop, don't drop, keep it up. Good job. The following exercise that we will be demonstrating are forward lunges. The athlete will take a big step forward and then come straight down while maintaining their chest and their body in a good, stable position. Take that big step out and then come straight down. And then continuously take those steps. Ready, Evan? And go. Good. Making sure that knee never touches the ground. Good job. Keep that chest up. Good. And up. Two more. Good, keep that chest up. Good job, last one. Make sure that knee stays behind those toes. Good job. The following exercise that we will be demonstrating will be the reverse lunge. It's very similar to the forward lunge, except this time the athlete is taking a step backwards instead of forward. This exercise really helps with balance and uh, maintaining a stable position 
whenever the athletes are moving throughout their normal um, movements in whichever sport they're doing. So um, the athlete will take a step back and then the same thing as the forward lunge, they will go straight down, making sure that knee doesn't touch the ground and then come back to a neutral position. Step back, coming back. And this exercise is great for balance as well. And then are you ready? And go. Good, big step back. Good job. Make sure you keep that chest nice and straight. Good job. Straight down. Perfect. Two more. Good. Last one. Awesome job keeping those knees behind those toes, buddy. Good job. The following exercise will be toe touches while raising that leg backwards as we do them. So for a demonstration, I will go down to touch my right foot and my left leg will come up. This is another great exercise for balance as well as changing position. You want to make sure your back and your chest stay straight as you bend down and your body will be like a seesaw as that back leg comes up and your chest comes down. Ready, Evan? We're gonna do three to each side. One, good. Two. Make sure you come all the way up. Yep, good. Three. Try to maintain that balance the whole time. Four, two more. Good. Five, come all the way back to center. Three. Good. Last one. Six. Oh. <laughs> It's a little hard to maintain that balance, but always try to consciously make sure your body stays straight the whole time. Got it? All right, good job. The next exercise will be high knees. The athlete will bring their knees to their chest as they're taking steps forward at a pretty fast pace. So this is just for demonstration, but in real speed, the athlete will be moving at about this pace. So bring those knees all the way up. Are you ready, Evan? Go. All the way up, all the way up, knees up. Good job. This next exercise will be butt kicks. The athlete is just bringing their heels to their butt as they're running down to whichever point they're going. Ready, Evan? Go ahead. Good job. This next exercise will be karaoke. The athlete will be bringing one foot over the other and then reversing and switching going back behind that other leg. This exercise can um, be performed at a faster pace. So in real time, it would look something like this. It's okay if the athlete decides to pick their own pace when they do this exercise. And um, Evan and I will go together at his pace. Ready? Go. Good job. The next and last exercise of this warm up will be uh, big skips. When the athlete takes a step, they're going to come straight up with their skip. The entire motion as they're in the air should be vertical, not horizontal. So as they take their step, straight up. Straight up. Ready, Evan? Good job. 